This is the Coca-Lilla 1000 watt full spectrum grow light. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the user manual, power cord, it's a US plug to standard IEC connector as you see there. Here is the light itself. This light is dimmable as it has the control right there. Over on this side you have a universal outlet for all different types of plugs which makes this light daisy chainable. You can plug in more lights to it if you'd like. Around the other side you have the IEC connector there and on the back is provisions for mounting where you can put this here. It's basically a metal system with uh, carabiners at the end that will hook on. I'll show you that in a bit. And also a pulley system that will allow you to raise and lower the light to get it closer or farther away from your plants. As a bonus, they also give you this clock, calendar, temperature, and humidity display. It's full featured here. You can do Celsius, Fahrenheit. It shows your uh, humidity here. You can have it display the uh, maximum and minimum as well, which is handy for growing plants. The clock is 12 or 24 hour. And you have buttons here. There's also a stand that folds out, which I had open before. So there's your calendar right there. And this also has an alarm function as well. So you can adjust pretty much everything you need from there. If you want to switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius, the switch is under the stand. That little button right there, you press that and it'll switch. Or if you want, you can wall mount it right there. This device does take one AAA battery right in here, which is not included. Flipping the light over reveals a 120 millimeter fan that will run while the unit is on to keep it cool. Here are your mount points for the carabiner and that system I showed you there. And we'll turn it back over. I'll put it up this way. And I'm going to tell you a bit about this now. As stated before, this is a 1000 watt grow light. Of course, it's not using 1000 watts out of your socket. It's using actually 80 watts out of the socket. It is dimmable, as I explained before, with the control right up there. And this has 588 LEDs, including UV and IR emitters. So when you turn it on, you're not going to see all of the lights light up because you can't see infrared and ultraviolet only certain spectrum of that you actually can see the rest you cannot uh, of these LEDs you have a collection of different ones you get uh, 3000k warm white 5000k neutral white and 660 nanometer deep red ultraviolet and 860 nanometer infrared. So now let me get this hung up using the kit there and we'll power it on. So now we can go ahead and turn the light on and brighten it up and dim it down as well like that. If you go a little too far it'll switch off. So taking a look here you can see you have some that look like they're out even the camera can't see those lights. The rest you can see the red and the mixture of warm and natural white that's there. And that all will work well. Fan is up here just doing its thing, keeping it nice and cool. It's also controlled by the dimmer control. The higher you bring it, the faster it'll run. Let me go ahead and shut the room lights out so you can see what this can do for you. So here is the light hanging up. It's currently set at the lowest brightness right now and it's a very natural looking light all around quite good I'm gonna ramp this up to the highest brightness now you're seeing black lines in the video that's an artifact of the camera you don't see that of course in real life there's everything going there it's quite bright definitely puts out some nice quality light for your plants I did not install the pulley system here, which will allow you to raise and lower it. You've seen that, kind of like a flagpole type deal, where you can raise and lower it. Uh, I just don't have the 
clearance height here, but you can see that it provides an excellent and ample amount of light. We can turn that to somewhere in the medium setting there. That works well. You have your temperature and humidity display right here, which I can open the stand up. So you can keep that by your plants, and that way always know what the uh, stats in the room are, as well as the clock, which is a nice touch as well. So all around it works great. Dimmest, brightest setting. Fan is super quiet. This is at the highest brightness, highest fan speed. It's just a very, very, very dull sound. There's really not much there to speak of at all. And what's also nice, I can feel airflow through here. I can also feel a little bit of heat from the lights. That, of course, you're going to get with any light. But I can certainly feel the fan blowing air through to keep everything nice and cool. So that will prevent these LEDs from failing because heat is the number one failure for LEDs. So all around it works great. You can adjust the height of it, like I said. Adjust the brightness of it, as I showed, like that, to get the best light possible for whatever plants you're growing. Once again, this was the Coco Lilla 1000 watt full spectrum LED grow light. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.